My name is Michael Madden. I am the Chief Scientist for the Simulation Development and Analysis Branch here at NASA Langley. That branch is responsible for managing the flight simulators here at Langley where we conduct a lot of aircraft and spacecraft research. I started here at Langley in 1993 and how I got involved in NASA is that I'm second generation NASA. My father worked for NASA. He worked at Goddard Space Flight Center. He was a project manager for space flight projects there. So I grew up uh, with NASA all around me and I went into college and uh, went into the field of aerospace engineering and when I got out I was offered a job here at Langley and that's how my career was started. My first job here was to work with a simulation of an F-16 control system and to test it to verify that it behaved exactly as the control system in the real vehicle. Uh, from there I worked on a project where I modeled a, an aircraft that would fly passengers at speeds of 1500 miles per hour. That was part of the high-speed research program here at NASA Langley and you can actually read more about it online if you Google it. Uh, I also worked on the um, ICE tailless fighter which like the B-2 stealth bomber required new research in computerized controls in order to enable it to fly. I've worked on the Constellation program which was to develop a new set of launch vehicles and uh, crew capsules to bring men back to the surface of the moon. Uh, that program was canceled this past year, but many elements of that program are being transferred to a new set of programs here at NASA that will build launch vehicles and crew habitations for missions beyond the moon. Now NASA does a, a lot of research with aircraft and spacecraft and eventually all of that new technology has to be tested with a simulation before it's deployed in the real world. So in my job I get to work with a wide variety of new technologies and a wide variety of aircraft and because I get to test the software that I write in the simulators I've been able to fly fighters like an F-16 airliners like a Boeing 757, spacecraft like the Orion crew capsule, and new vehicles that researchers here dream up, like an uh, aircraft that flies faster than the speed of sound, yet doesn't leave a sonic boom on the ground that rattles the windows as it goes overhead. In my job, I mostly rely on physics, mathematics, and computer science in order to create simulations of objects in the real world. We use physics to determine how they would behave. We capture that behavior using mathematics. And then we use computer science to encode that mathematics into software. To engineer a simulation, we also have to use human biology. Because what, one thing the simulation has to do is it has to stimulate the human senses as the real vehicle, flying the real vehicle would stimulate those human senses. And we need to do that in order to ensure that pilots operate the simulation exactly as they would operate the real vehicle. Uh, we also make use of English and art because we deal with a lot of new concepts, a lot of new ideas. And English and art both provide us the ability to compose and present those new ideas using words or pictures. And they're important in order to get everyone to agree on what the te new technology is, how it would behave, how it's going to work in the real world. We need that information in order to successfully model those new technologies in the simulator. 